what happens when a strange dude who's really into butts but 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 tricks a grown man and the woman into living together She's already preparing a meal. It's like being married. It's not a trick. He promised them $250,000 each, as long as they don't go out for the next 100 days. I'd do it for free. Yeah, so the dude goes by the strange name Mr. Beats. It is Mr. Beast. I'm with you on that. This guy is a real monster. No, his name is Mr. Beast. No. So basically, he locked up this guy, Bailey, who is not a shining example of intelligence. He's just dumb. With Susan, the girl who's never seen automatic doors. This is gonna be crazy. And sure enough, the duo went crazy right away. Even though they've already got a roof, they still decided to add shelters from the rain. Oh my god, this is crazy. Uh, Bailey ended up with a rain shelter. Susan just hung a sheet to dry after washing. After 10 days of lockup, Mr. Monster did something awful to the prisoners who hadn't seen sunlight yet. You forget that they literally haven't seen the sun in 10 days. Now I feel bad. It hasn't been 10 days. But there is nothing to talk about. They just couldn't sleep because of flying letters, tried to play hide and seek in a room with only the money safe as the hiding spot, and barely doodled age appropriate pictures on pieces of paper. Oh, I still have those. They're right here. Mink. Which honestly looked pretty fun. Well, apart from drawing lessons, he also educated himself by reading the cans. He didn't have patience for it. He got curious downright immediately, finding reading way too complicated. So after making fun at the couple on day 10, Mr. Beast finally showed them how the sky had changed while they were working hard to make their half million dollars. <laughs> Besides the sky, he also showed them a table. You are kidding me. Why do I say you're kidding me every three seconds? About it right well, maybe that because you were so impressed by how this guy cuts apples. And you might think, what a sweetheart this guy is, choosing to brighten up the prisoner's tedious confinement out of the goodness of his soul. He even allowed them to have a proper meal after the canned diet. But, 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 you simply don't know what Mr. Beast wants from the couple for that. Would you pay $50,000? to have this for the rest of the challenge. $600 per day for a meal, when they already have a perfectly canned veggies and chicken. Uh, just to remind you, Donny, our family, for instance, manages to eat for $30 a week. Nope. I think we decided no. I think we didn't take that temptation because we were shocked by the amount of money we would have to pay and... I don't know. Well, the next 10 days, also nothing special happened. Bailey was sinking deeper into the friend zone. The longer I'm in here, the more I feel like I'm sharing a space with an annoying sibling. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Who else? You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And in just 10 days, Mr. Beast came back with yet another offer that's hard to refuse. I think they're gonna take it. He dragged in two old sofas and once again demanded $50,000. I will give you each a smart bed. I will also give you this iPad with the ability to turn off the lights. Now it kind of makes sense where this guy gets so much cash that he's ready to sponsor three months of luxury vacation for random people. I'll give you each a smart bed. The answer might be yes. And you might think that these sofas are clearly smarter than Susan because she seriously considered this a lucrative deal. <laughs> Bailey also thought about it, but chose to place the weight of decision making on the delicate shoulders of the girl. We were back and forth so many times. Susie and I were like, we should do it. No, we shouldn't. No, but we've got 80 more days. No, we, whatever. We're just back and forth so much. I'm actually okay with whatever you say. Five. So the whole thing was on me, and I didn't know what to do. What's your decision? Because that's still a lot of money. No. Really? Okay, well. It turns out, Susan is as smart as, if not smarter, uh, than sofas. A smart ass. I don't know. Bailey and I are cheapskates, you'll see, so. Over the next 10 days, the couple spent regretting the missed bets. I think I made a mistake, maybe. I can't believe that in the heat of the moment you said no. Oh, I feel that slight regret right now. So on the day 13, they gladly spent 20k dollars for the set of Harry Potter books. I'm doing this one 1000%, I'll be honest with you. And the coffee machine. Are you buying the coffee? Does it come with cream or sugar? If you say yes in three seconds. 
it, it, yes. Well, I say it in a second, but it's an investment. We finally got you two to buy something. <laughs> Most expensive coffee maker in the world. Susie still has that coffee maker. I still have, still have the Harry Potter books also. $10,000 Harry Potter books. 30 days in, we got something new. That's exciting. Having a coffee machine and the pile of children's books was so exciting that Bailey spent the next 10 days staring at his socks. Just sat there and stared. Because once he freed his mind from all the thoughts, a fantastic idea popped in. My dogs are barking. Wow. Susan too felt the creative vibes. She decided to show off a wonderful little box a child in the older group of daycare can create without a YouTube tutorial. Wow. And of course, where would we be without garlands made out of toilet paper? <laughs> By the day 50, the jailer pitched Susan and Bailey a smart and essential investments in their enterprise. This one is a very big one. Exactly. If they agree to pay a small fee of $10,000 each, they'll get a hug from their parents. Shut up and take my money! Mr. Beast found it amusing to make their parents watch as their children seriously considered the idea of dropping their $20,000 into the toilet. He's been a yes from the beginning. As soon as you said it. He's a yes and she's a no. Look, Susan's mom is teasing Bailey's parents that their son is a goofball ready to pay 10k for a free hug. She understands that her daughter went for this with the intention of helping her and her husband. I want to pay off my parents' debt. That would be like my ideal world. Just a reminder. 10k from each of them. It was more money to help them out. And I've been out of my parents' house for like five years now. 40% of the amount that could have kept them eating like royalty for the entire three month lockup. Or enjoy good nights on comfy beds with the lights off. Well, I say it in a second, but it's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> Right after their parents left, Bailey and Susan immediately realized the full extent of their idiocy. That's the worst feeling so far. And the next 10 days passed in depression and regret for the fact that by this point, they had lost a total of $40,000. I'm actually feeling sick right now. Therefore, on the day 60, when Mr. Beast brought in a yellow box with a question mark and following tradition, suggested they put down 50k for that, they didn't hesitate too much. Uh, I'm going with no. No. Really? I can't believe you guys didn't take it. Do you want to unlock it? No, no, girl, don't go there. You know, something's better left unknown. My heart dropped in this moment. It was like my worst nightmare was happening right in front of me. It turned out that the box included the same $50,000 and a couple of cool fridge magnets. Oh, I want to cry. Well, let's close this. Alex! This is how Tesla car keys look like. And you know what? Susan, it seems, has been dreaming of having one since the day she was born. That's literally my dream. Because uh, Tesla is definitely my dream car. So to say it was tough to be stuck in a box was one thing. But to be stuck in a box and then also get bad news, it's rough. And you'll see how rough it was. This was the low, a, a low point in the challenge for sure. I feel like we made the wrong decision. I'll regret this forever. Well, at least you have a hug from your parents. No, she doesn't have it anymore. But a super offer came up on the day 70. On the table for the couple was Mr. Beast's offer to spend the last 20 days with, with the junk they rejected earlier. Excluding the Tesla cars, of course. One phone call each, Spices Monopoly. This pleasure comes with a trivial cost, just the mere $50,000. Oh! Nope. This time they'll have to guess the cost of the lot. But if you say one dollar, one penny lower, you get nothing. Well, Donnie, how much would you estimate a month on comfortable beds with tasty food? Is the pool included? With a monopoly on the table, who needs a pool? Well, I think 3,000 is a fair amount. Would they spend 20k on hugs? I put that at zero dollars. Hugs are priceless. Let's be logical here. From all this garbage, the only things worth paying attention to are the good food and the beds, right? DVD movies are more available. They already have beds. Well, they already have food as well. True. True. 
So for 80 days with beds and food, they were offered to pay $1,000 in sum. So for 30 days, the fair price would be $37,500. Plus discount for the ridiculous cost. But what about the extra stuff? One phone call each, Spices Monopoly. This junk can't be removed from the package. A brand new mystery box. We don't know what's in here. I have a feeling I want whatever's inside. But okay, all right. Fine. For that, I toss in one hug for Mr. Beast and uh, seal the deal. Hundred thousand and one hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not really that much damage. Huh? Well, I say it in a second, but it's an investment. So, bro, you were giving thirty-seven thousand for this set of perks, right? Thirty-seven thousand five hundred plus a hug. And if he started negotiating, I would have added one more hug on top. Maybe two hugs, okay. Even that wouldn't have been enough. Mr. Beast demanded a sixty-nine thousand. <laughs> You overpaid by 30... I don't care! We have saved $100,000. It's an investment, for sure. I think it was well worth $100,000. For sure. Also, to the surprise and joy, inside the box, the guys found another pair of Tesla cars. Two yes. smaller Teslas. No, I love this. I'll be teaming up with the shop app. And the very next day, the guys were back to realizing they are idiocy. We've been playing the same Monopoly game for like seven days. Recognizing it is already the first step towards healing. Bra, you can't cure idiocy. Overall, Monopoly didn't live up to expectations, since it's not designed for a single player, and Susie didn't find it enjoyable, just like most of the girls. Do you know the dice are? Yeah, I had them. Because you keep asking me to play, so I was like, maybe if I just hide them, then we'll never be able to play. And Bailey wasn't into romantic comedies like Titanic and The Notebook. Hey, do you want to watch The Notebook later? No, I don't want to watch The Notebook later. Instead of movie parties, he started organizing raves. <laughs> oh, get me out of here. You're the worst. <laughs> and on the final day, right before stepping out of the chamber, they received another intelligence test from Mr. Beast. The H challenge was to figure out the correct button with the word still written on it. Because if one of them hits it, he or she will instantly get all the money. And if you both hit steal, you would get nothing. And if both of them fail to guess, then the tiny leftover from the $500,000 after their wise investments will have to be split between them. Now you make me nervous! And as we remember, Bailey practiced English on cans. Maybe you get ahead of it and you steal it. There. You hear that? Bailey actually might. Bailey might. Don't fail us, bro. Like, I could do it too. Whoa. <laughs> we consider it a hypothetical scenario. Okay, so they've already flushed $140,000 down the drain. And that's not even counting the lost cars. Well, they did end up with, with a few Teslas. When I come home, my roommate buying a Tesla while I'm in the box. So now I gotta park behind her every day of my life and be reminded of what could have been. Now losing another 180000 The air shrinks will hit the jackpot. If the room turns red, then someone stole. If the room turns green, then you split the money. To say it was tough, it's rough. What? Who's the winner? Bailey? Nah, Alice, I'm just kidding. They both pressed the wrong buttons. You are kidding me. Yep. In the end, both walked away from the project with pathetic remnants of the former treasure. Susan was trying to overcome her depression by buying flower corpses on the street. <laughs> Tried to make friends with the people of her developmental level by investing in painted plastic for a random girl. The girl proved to be more developed though. Do you know who that is? Yeah. It's cool. He's cool, right? I don't watch him. As the girl wasn't interested in friendship over plastic on wheels, Susan decided to widen in her pool of potential friends. Uh, so just pay it forward to the next person and yeah. I'm buying everyone's ice cream. Oh. Yes, including yours. Wow. Yeah, so you can leave. Of course, she didn't find any friends on this cringe festival as well. Well, at least she got some free hugs. So, in a desperate attempt to get some dopamine hit, the girl decided to resort to the classic way of lifting a mood when you don't have a hobby. Fashionable shopping, ladies and gentlemen. Alex, she got four blankets to hand them out to the homeless. Let's go hand them out. 
This, however, didn't work out either. She was able to find just one homeless lady and decided to feed her with dog food and chewing gum. Does she really think of sweet and rubber as food? Yes. And all the time she set aside for distributing blankets to homeless people, Susan spent on the philosophical debates with this poor lady. Cindy and I talked for two hours until the sun started to set and she had to go. Then she simply pushed the rest blankets to the lady. All of these little care packages and then she's gonna distribute them. And went home to buy subscribers for her YouTube channel. And I want to bless some of you today by giving away $500.